Welcome to Bad Idea Metals. I'm Anthony. Um, I wanted to give you a quick update today. So I'm trying the, uh, the acid um, depopulation method. I don't know what you'd call it. It's kind of like wet scraping. If there's a such thing as wet ashing, then this is wet scraping. And uh, I'm just taking all these chips off. Here, I'll show you inside the bucket here. These have been sitting in acid, and uh, sometimes the chips take a few uh, few seconds to come off. Um, and so what I do is I just rub them off gently. When I have a chip, um, when I have the, uh, the board free of all the big stuff, then I'll put it down in this bin, which will go through another batch of acid, but this time it will have um, a bubbler, and it'll take the fingers off. And then, I'll rinse off. You can see there's a ton of copper in here. Copper and, and still some chlorine, some chloride. Um, but this, I, I, I weighed the bucket yesterday. It's 13 pounds, but that includes the bucket weight. I believe that the bucket is about a pound or two, probably closer to two, which puts that above 10 pounds of chips. So that is what I'm doing. Now let me show you how much work I have ahead of me. So I got, I got buckets and I got bins just full of RAM. And this is, this is uh, three, three of my recycle bins. I've got like four more hiding somewhere in this mess. So that's what I got ahead of me. It's gonna take me pretty much all summer. So that's pretty much it. Um, we, got, we got a whole bunch of chips. We'll get off all the fingers. I've got a cotton ball down here. This is catching all of the, uh, the fingers and any of the uh, surface mount stuff after it's been through uh, the, the tin removal. This was straight hydrochloric, 100% hydrochloric. So now it's all copper chloride. I like to get a certain amount of this half gallon funnel filled with the liquid. And I got a catch bowl underneath, a catch uh, container. Look how dark that is. Copper chloride gets real dark. I like that. Makes it easy. But now what I'll do, I take one of my little toothbrushes And this one has gold in the tip. So this is the one that I've been using. I just reach in the bucket. And sometimes they stick to my fingers, but that's all right. But I just loosely and lightly remove the fingers. I found that if I agitate them too much, they become a little powder. And then I lose them more often on the edges of funnels and stuff. And yeah, I think good rinsing would, would help but I've just found that this is more satisfying. It's more thorough. If there's any surface mount um, silver bearing stuff, I'm able to make sure that it dislodges correctly. Anyway, this is what I do. And then when I'm satisfied that all of the components are off or all of the fingers are off, I move on. This one was a pretty bad example of how fast this can go this really can go pretty fast but they'll stick to my fingers so you just rinse and keep going let me see if I can find an easier one than that one because they usually go pretty fast this is a nice one in fact it's most of the way done without even starting to brush and that side's done Because of the splattering, I'm wearing a, a protective cover so I don't ruin my shirt. Uh, just, a, just a standard work coverall. Obviously the gloves for my hands.
Well, the, the fans are kicking on. I'm inside my greenhouse because it's not, it's not great weather outside. It's sunny, but it's really windy and I didn't want all of this being blown around by the wind. So I'm inside my greenhouse and the fans just turned on, which means that my greenhouse is above um, 95 degrees right now. The weather outside is like 45, almost 50. So pretty excited with the successfulness of my greenhouse. Anyway, pretty easy stuff. But uh, I wanted to make sure you guys got a chance to see this side of the process, not just the removal of the, of the uh, IC chips. Now see, it's turning into a, a very fine gold powder now because I'm not being very careful about slow and gentle, but that'll all get stuck down in that, that little cotton ball filter. I gotta audit this better. There's a gold foil on the end of that one. And it's just hanging on for dear life. All right. Okay. Let's go back to the other video that you were watching before. I'll finish that one out, and then we'll see you in the next video, I guess. And then at the bottom of this bucket, you'll see all of the uh, surface mount stuff, like um, the silver bearing stuff. Yeah, there might be some some really slight amounts of other metals, platinums or palladiums or other things, but not likely. Really, this recovery is for chips, fingers, and the surface mount stuff that gives me silver. We'll get to that part probably closer to the end of the summer. So look for that video. Um, I haven't done any scrap or tear apart videos because this is what I've been spending most of my time on. And uh, we've had some pretty bad storms to hold me up. So for the first time in nearly three months, four months, I'm in shorts and I'm not freezing. So anyway, oh, might as well show you this. There's a, you can see that the, the acid is, is kind of coating the, the, the rim right here. But uh, right here, this is another bin filled with, uh, with recycled acids. The fun part is the copper and the, the tin switch places, or, or it could be a different metal, but the copper chloride goes from a nice dark color and then it turns into, uh, well, I'm thinking it's more of a stannous chloride at that point. And you can see that the copper has started to, uh, to cement out onto everything else, especially everything metal. It's kind of funny, but um, it, it effectively takes the chips off, which is really cool. But um, I don't know how to recover the stannous chloride to get the tin back and, and allow it to go back into uh, copper chloride. So I've got a whole bunch of, of fresh hydrochloric. The hydrochloric is what I'm gonna take those fingers off right there. So anyway, this was a, supposed to be a short video. I think I've already gone longer than I planned, but if you've got any questions or comments, by all means, share. Um, I'm not a pro at this process. I'm just trying something as we go along. But the really funny thing, all of these chips I've been able to take off with no more than three of these bottles. So I just keep rotating it and it keeps working over and over. Uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a limit eventually to how much, uh, how much tin or how much whatever metal is going into solution. Um, there's gonna be a limit eventually and then it'll be saturated and I, I can't put more in but it, it keeps working. I, I don't know how to explain that. Anyway, that's it. I do hope to tear some stuff apart in the next week. We're gonna have a change of pace on that and um, we'll see what we end up tearing apart. I've got a few machines I wanna to tear apart, a few servers, and uh, I'll show you what I find. Okay, well have a good night. We'll see you in the next video.